It's been described the year of the woman. So who are 10 of the most influential women in politics? Joanne, take it away. Well, I think the most influential right now is Hillary Clinton, former first lady, former senator, presidential candidate, current secretary of state, who is an amazing advocate for women's and girls' issues across the globe and possibly a presidential contender in 2016. So that's a lot of influence. Yeah, her husband conveniently left the door open to that. He did. Also on our list, Sarah Palin. She is enormously popular with conservatives and with the American people. Hello, the Today Show just asked her to be a guest host. She wields tremendous influence within Republican circles, so she is definitely someone to watch this year. Mm -hmm. And another influential Republican woman, though you don't see her quite as much as Palin, is Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers. She's the highest ranking Republican woman in Congress, and you usually see her standing behind John Boehner at the news conferences, but she has a lot of influence because she helps set the, the agenda in Congress that everybody is voting on. Another member of Congress, Republican Senator Olympia Snow. She's retiring, so you think, why is she influential? For that reason. She has been criticizing her Republican colleagues for all of this focus on social issues. She says it's a debate they had in the 1950s, so the more she talks, the more influential she can be on what the Republicans do this year. But you don't have to be elected to be influential in politics. And Rachel Maddow is another person who's very influential just because of her talk show on MSNBC. She has a lot of progressive Democrats, but she also crosses the aisle to get Republicans on the show and tries to balance things out and really have influence in the political conversation that way. And speaking of Republicans, a woman enormously powerful right now because she's on that very short list of Republican contenders, Nikki Haley, the governor of South Carolina. She's a daughter of immigrants, a darling of conservatives, and is someone who's viewed as a possible presidential contender herself in the years ahead. Exactly. And then there's uh, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and she's influential not just because she's a congresswoman, but she's also the head of the very powerful Democratic National Committee. So she's the chief fundraiser for so many Democrats across the country, including President Obama. So she wields a lot of influence depending on who she decides is going to get those uh, campaign dollars. And speaking of President Obama, no list like this would be complete without First Lady Michelle Obama. But she was once a reluctant political wife. Now she's the co-campaigner in chief, a total rock star on the campaign trail, more popular than her husband, which means she will wield tremendous political power when the general campaign really heats up. And one woman a lot of people haven't heard of is Kamala Harris. She's the Attorney General of California, and she's influential because she's really been an advocate for making sure that the residents of her state have sufficient health insurance. It's a huge debate nationally, but she's really fought for that in California, and also in terms of fighting for um, mortgage foreclosure issues for people who live in California. And her name often bandied about as a possible presidential candidate. Exactly. Another name, Kathleen Sebelius, Health and Human Services Secretary. She did something no other secretary has done before, overruling a move by the FDA when it comes to the so-called morning after pill. She is loyal to President Obama, a fierce defender of the health care law, and someone who may have her own eyes on the White House.